<laughs> this is, this is, that is rare though. It's rare, rare anyway, because you got somebody that you ain't got a mixtape floating around. Like man, everybody man. that's in the music. Man, I'm just trying to clean some of this bread up so I can spit it, man. That's <laughs> you feel me? Uh, it's being real, you know. Right, that's being real. So uh like who was your first who was your first person to work with? Like, you know what I mean, on the music. Uh to my the concert, see I was promoting uh I was promoting concerts uh, like a long time before I even, you know what I'm saying, even got into it really. And, uh, and I would mean a lot of art. I used to meet everybody, you know, because we used to have to pay them the money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was just like, I'm just a nigga with the money, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't care about me, motherfuckers, none of that. I just, because, you know, some artists be on that fucking Hollywood shit, and I hate motherfuckers like that. This is why I like, so I don't be, really want to talk to niggas unless I find out they cool, because I ain't with on there, all that Hollywood, all that. Fake shit, nigga. Think he's better than other nigga. You know, most of them niggas you know. I, no, you nigga like me got more money than him, but you know, I'm humble. And these you niggas. Made it this far, you still stand on that principle. I thought, I thought you had yeah. to mix for a little bit yeah. in Hollywood. Yeah. I thought Man, you had to mix like that. You know what I'm saying? So I just like. I was just in the back cut, man, doing what I do, man. You know, just you know, trying to make my money clean, cause you know, cause you know, I was in the streets, you know. Right. And, and it just went from there, man. Uh, we just went from there, man. Then I, I managed a couple cats, man. I managed, I used to manage a guy named Chronic, uh, before a soldier boy, and uh, a guy named a couple cats. A guy, I used to manage uh, models, a lot of different people, man. But you know, uh, that's basically how I got into it, man. You know what I'm saying? Soldier Boy basically uh, opened up. He was like trying to get me to work with him and stuff. And uh, I used to come by my barber shop and leave CDs and stuff. And uh, and, and, and uh, for like two years, and I was messed with this artist named Chronic and, and his friends. And uh, it just it just went from there. You know what I'm saying? I, and uh, and uh, me and Chronic had fell out, but you know we cool now. He called me a couple years ago and, and apologized me about everything that happened. We we back cool now. We like brothers. But and uh. And then went from there, man. Uh, I, I I I took my focus off his company because when I got out of prison, I had palm tree like I told you. But my partner RP, it stands for RP Money. He made me Mike, man. I'm Miami Mike. It stands for Money is a major issue. He RP Money. It stands for you know, he Robert Paul and Money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We the Money Boys. But anyway, he uh when I got out of prison, he said he gonna give me 15 percent of his company. He owned 50 percent of this, this label called P Word Entertainment. So when I got out of prison, it was like the hottest record label around. It's, it was a guy called Sandman on it, all that. So you know what I'm saying? So I, I was I was on the label and uh, I was like I, I own 15 percent of it. And I had put my shit to the back going because my boy his shit was already popping. He wanted me with him, so I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? And I was with that for a minute, a couple of years until uh, it went south. You know what I'm saying? The artist started getting the big head and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I just like left and took my shit and put that energy and put it behind my shit. You know. So Palm Tree ENT, what was that like? What type of business was that? Like, were you signing artists or were you managing them? Like, let's talk uh, about the structure of the business that you have with Palm Tree. Palm Tree Entertainment is a record label and a management company. I do both. Okay. It's called Peach. Uh, a Palm Tree, Palm Tree is, is, is a, a company in a Palm Tree. P, Palm Tree Management is a company. But, and, uh, and together, they Palm, PT, the label management. Okay. So they're two different companies in one. <laughs> So oh, okay. so let's uh let's go back to starting Soldier Boy. So I hear you, Soldier Boy wants you to manage him. Like, what was the key element to make Soldier Boy Soldier? Because when he hit, I mean, he probably was the first person to blow up like that on the internet. Like, what was what was like the key element that y'all that y'all did to you know what I'm saying really put him at that plateau like that? Well, basically, Soldier Soldier was doing stuff himself already. He had had three managers before he got with me, and like I said, and like I say, I'm uh, I'm gonna go to what I do. I would, like everybody knew me. You know, what I'm saying I was like how to promote shit. He knew that I was the missing piece to his puzzle because he knew that. You know, what I'm saying if he had me on his team, that's all it takes. Sometimes you build your team, all you need is one piece. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. and uh, no, I had and I and really I needed that one piece. Him and he needed that one. So we got together. It was over. With. Like he needed he needed me, and I needed him. Cause I was doing what I did. I was promoting because I was doing shows. Like, well, just say when I did a show, I had a show with Ti and Jesus. Just say, for instance, and I'm doing this show, right? And uh, I'm gonna put Soldier on the fly, you know, the billboard, cause cause he's my artist. You know what I'm saying? So I'm promoting him, let him open up on the show. Then mm -hmm. he doing the old shows to get money. So it was just, it was just a win win when we but we both got we both got together. You know what I'm saying? So it was it just was, uh, another tussle. Came to the music. Yeah, because I was, I was like I said, I was looking over for two years, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like Jay Z was doing Kanye. I was just looking over. He was right there in my face. 
Like Mike, he will give me. Hey, one day he came to me and he gave some. He's like, man, I want I want you to work with me all that. Then he gave me some CDs. I gave him some some flyers. I told him to pass them out. When he passed them out, come back and holler at me. I was talking about. I gave him a lot of them. So I'm I'm talking about in a couple of days, a couple of weeks or so. Man, that man called me two hours. Like man, I'm through with the flyers. I mean, how you do with the flyers already? I passed them all. I said, man, you had to pass them all at one time. You must let me. I just passed them out to people. I was just got some man. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, was, he, was, he was just he was real persistent and smart. He knew what he wanted to do all the time. But, I, but at what point did you realize you were overlooking the piece of the puzzle? I never did. His dad, what happened was his dad, uh, uh, I told you the, uh, the other label when it was like them guys had made me mad. Like I said, we was at the dinner at a dinner table one day. Was, everybody in the label was talking at the P. Warden. And uh, I was talking about, you know how you in the meeting that one of the uh, the, uh, the guy that on the other half people here got you drunk tipsy. He usually don't drink like that. He's feeling himself. And we and we had a meeting with this we had a board meeting. One day we had some but this day we had some girls that had a lot of bad bitches in there. And uh we just had a board meeting, man. You know what I'm saying? And I was talking about what I'm gonna do with the you know what I'm saying? You know how you tell me what I'm gonna do with the I said, man, what we gonna do with all that, what we're gonna do with this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going hard because I own part of it. And he stood up and like, man, this ain't your fucking label. This is my label, nigga. The fuck you talking about? He was drunk, and then P, uh, RP jumped up like, "Man, what the fuck is you doing, P? Man, this nigga to my his label, his label. This ain't his label. This is my label." I like, bro. I know this your fucking label. What the fuck is you talking about? So we mm. got into about some little shit like that, man. I just like, man, I ain't got time for this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. going hard for your shit, and then you gonna like trying to like, like just talk crazy to me, nigga. And I'm, and I'm going hard for your shit like it's mine. So I just put that energy into my shit, man. And uh, and, you and must have been getting you know what I'm saying? Like that happened. Yeah, but you know, you are gonna do me like that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to take the label, nigga. Cause your 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 uncle gave me half of fifteen percent of his shit. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? I already had my own shit, nigga. I was just trying. To... But you know what? Not to cut you off, but a lot of times when you get situations like that, it's like sometimes you might be getting credibility in certain areas where they. But it was for the best, though. It was for the best, though, because when he did that, I, I left. I said, "Fuck it," because you know what I'm saying. I'm a good nigga, and I ain't gonna be taking that shit. And I put the energy behind my shit. Cause like, what if I would just stayed there? I would have had probably had soldier but signed that shit and do that up, and that nigga probably would have blew up. He would have. He probably took all the money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So do you feel like that was necessary? That's what you needed to go no, off. That probably wasn't simple, cause you know what I'm saying. Cause the dude had never did that before. He was cool as that. One day he said he was drunk. He did it, but it didn't take one time for me. The yeah. feelings come out with the drunk. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel that. I feel that. I feel you. I feel you. So we heard, we, we, we researched in the story. We said, man, Soldier Boy was working with you and then he got caught with $90,000 in a locker at school. Is that true or is that myth? That's true. Yeah. Uh, uh, what happened was, this how I got with Soldier. Like I said, he was trying to get me to work with him. I was just busy. You know what I'm saying? I'm selling dope. I thought I got out of prison still on the low. I had got this, this, every year. And, and, <laughs> I'm doing all kind of shit. You know what I'm, I'm just more, more slicker with it now that I done got out, right? And yeah. uh, and I, I was just like, I would look, you gotta look, motherfucker come me every day because they know I'm a, they know I got the bag. I'm a dope boy. Everybody trying to rap. And niggas know you got a bag. You put the bag behind the high. That shit is. So yeah. niggas was like, everybody doing, come to me every day talking about some music and shit. And I wouldn't even fuck with it like that. I wouldn't even really, you know, <laughs> I'm just like, man, I'm just, if it didn't make dollars, it makes sense to me. So in, in a way, uh, one day, Soldier Boy, uh, daddy came to me. After t he like, man, Mike, I want you to ha help me with my son, man. And he need he had a couple of managers, but he never going nowhere. He really want to rap and stuff. He moved from Atlanta. He said, I said, man, he said, show. I said, who's your son? He showed me a picture um, or whatever. I'm like, man, that nigga your son. He said, yeah. He said, I was like, nigga, why the fuck you didn't tell me that's your son? I said, dude, been trying to been fucking me for two years. So I fuck with him. He said, man, I ain't, I, I ain't, she, 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 I ain't just didn't tell you. I didn't know what. He moved from Atlanta. I, I told his mom if, if we mind, he can move here and took a blood test. He came to Atlanta, so shit. He came from Atlanta. He came to Mississippi, so. <laughs> I, I just wouldn't. I was just. I guess he wouldn't promote it till he got the blood test. You no, know, that's 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 common. You know what I mean? <laughs> so and uh, so I found. I went there the next day, and Soldier was happy. Say, oh, he thinking that I just came because he been squinting me. But it was I came because his daddy told me. Because like, because Soldier been telling me for two years. But as soon as his daddy came, I talked to. I came to the next day because you no. Know, sometimes it ain't. It, it's who you, it's who it is. Sometimes like people listen to different people different ways. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Because sometimes, who are you talking to? Because his daddy always been respectful. He, he type of motherfucker with money. He ain't never asked me for nothing. So when he said, my guy, like, man, do this, I had to do it. I, the next day I went on, I pulled up. So this 